Hey everyone, okay, uh, anyone following my Snapchat, you saw that I had a championship game yesterday, so went into the gym today just with the intention of doing some hypertrophy stuff, but I actually ended up doing a finisher, which fucking killed me after the game yesterday. Um, I've got a video going up tomorrow too, uh, about my full routine, what I do on the day of a game. Um, so I did obviously my recovery work in the morning with foam roller, trying to loosen out everything so that it was firing better for the game. Then my three meals before I trained, and then or before the game, and then the um, supplements that I used all through the day. So that's gonna be my video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, it'll be up around 1 p.m. tomorrow. Um, for anyone that plays GA or a high level of sport, um, just to kind of give you an idea of how I lay out my day. Um, and what foods I eat, the supplements I use, and the recovery strategy I have in place. Um, so today's workout, as I said, was mainly supposed to be upper body, um, but I felt like doing a little bit of explosive work just to uh, to power through at the end. So go check out the workout. Don't recommend doing this after a big fucking game, uh, but it's a great workout to do at another stage. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Okay, a little bit of hypertrophy bodybuilding work at the start. Um, just dumbbell press, it was a tricep, keep an optimal squeeze on the pecs throughout, so not letting the weight drop too low, and not letting it come up too high, so it's, it's um, pure tension point training so that you're just working for tension and then partial reps three sets of ten um i'll put the entire workout in the description a little bit of hypertrophy chest at the start um and then i just did kind of a metcon finisher to finish it so i did close grip pull-ups four moves you've seen me do this before if you've been following any of the videos uh, four moves 25 reps of each four rounds for 100 reps total on each um then i went in with burpee bar taps i had championship yesterday so my fucking calves were killing doing this um and it's in one of the finishers on my phase two of my online program. Um, so anyone in there knows how that feels. Um, and then these are a new move I added in for abs. Um, kind of a version of a spider push-up, just without the push-up and way more focus on our abs oblique and serratus. And then the last move, which is a box jump. So 25 reps on everything, four rounds. Um, the whole workout took me about 45 minutes. Absolutely killed me. Try it out, let me know how you get on. Okay, so uh, that was the workout. Killer one, my fucking calves are in bits from the burpee jumps um, after the game yesterday. Um, I put up a post today about uh, perspective, about the two people on the bus, one looking on the dark side and the other looking on the bright side of it and how life is all about perspective. Um, I'm reading a book at the minute. I don't know if I've got it here. Uh, this one, Seneca. It's the Letters from a Stoic. Um, fucking game changer. It's, it's one of those... I put up stuff about Seneca before and, and I read his book, The Shortness of Life, um, and how he talks about how when we attract things like wealth into our life, how we get consumed by the ideas of having nice things and the real wealth of life is in not needing the wealth and the happiness comes from not being tied to any external things. Um, his book is just, it, it's one of the most things I've enjoyed reading in a long time. Um, the whole philosophy, Stoicism, is based on the philosophy of using obstacles, you know, obstacle as the way, um, and how there are no good things or bad things in life, and it's just the way you perceive it and the way you see it. Um, most modern day self help books, a lot of Tony Robbins, a lot of these other self help gurus, are based on the Stoic philosophies, are on the way we see things is the way we're going to be in our life, and, and what we see as good and bad is down to the way that we have it as perspective, and what our reality is um, and that any situation is neither good nor bad it's just the way we see it um, so I definitely recommend reading that one anyone check it out and um, another book is Ryan Holiday the obstacle is the way which was my introduction to stoicism stoicism is the whole philosophy and um, Marcus Aurelius the great emperor of Rome and um, I'm reading his book now at the minute as well his uh, his letters and it's all based on you know using your mindset and being not tied to any external things and that true happiness comes from within and that you have full control of your thoughts thoughts become things you have full control of it um, and anything that you want and you can self-create it to the power of your own mind this isn't this is stuff that's popping up in modern day mindset been around thousands of years and um, so definitely recommend checking that out um yeah so hope that helps um please like and subscribe absolutely knackered now so my uh, <laughs> my tone is going to be down um, just from you know, 12 hour day or 13 hour day or whatever I work today. Um, so thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions or anything you wanna see in these vlogs, let me know. I've been mostly doing them as just training vlogs at the minute, but if you guys wanna see anything, let me know. Put the comments down below, if it's Facebook or YouTube, let me know what you wanna see um, and I'll make it. Thanks for watching.